going on everybody? Welcome back to Real Estate with Wes, episode 33. Let's get right into it. Welcome back to episode 33. Three is a good number. Is it your lucky number as well? Three is a good number for me and we have a double three, which means I need to do something special for three. So in this episode, I'm going to be talking about how three years is a crazy long time in real estate. In comparing numbers, it's going to blow your mind. So three years, a lot can happen in that time. I think about everything that's happened going back to 2018. I wouldn't know where to even start. But in real estate, if we're comparing numbers from 2018 market to 2021 market, the numbers are staggering. So for example, in 2018, the median sales price in Connecticut, according to the MLS, was around $240,000 in the state of Connecticut. Now go three years in the future to now in 2021, and that number for median sales prices of homes in Connecticut is up to almost $300,000. That's mind boggling. And if you look back five years, that median sales price number was only 230,000, which means in a five year span, there's almost a 30% increase in home value. Now for days on the market, what the average timeline is for a home on the market before it sells, in 2018, this number was around 43 days on the market. Three years later in 2021, we are at 33 days on the market. And if you go back again, an extra two years in 2016, that number was almost 90 days on the market. That's so crazy. We are drastically lower than we were just a few years ago. Now, in terms of homes that are actually on the market, this is a big driving factor of why this market is currently so crazy. So if you have been looking to purchase a home, you've probably gone through the madness. It feels like there's nothing out there. And when it does come on, boom, it's gone. So again, to put this into perspective for you, in 2018, the average amount of homes that were on the market during that year was around 22,000 homes in the state of Connecticut. In 2021, three years forward, that number is down around 13,000 homes. That's almost a 50% decrease of inventory of what's on the market. And if all of these facts don't blow your mind, if you're thinking about selling, I'll leave you with this one. Homes are seeing double the viewings they normally would. In 2018, your average amount of showings on a new listing was five showings that has doubled to practically 10 showings for every new listing. That's a huge jump. Why wouldn't you capitalize on this opportunity? This is one of, if not the best sellers market ever in the state of Connecticut. And there are endless facts to back that up. So let's have a conversation. Let's capitalize for you with your home. Moving on to my highest price for the week, we are looking at a gorgeous peninsula home in New Fairfield. This is a majestic waterfront home set right on Candlewood Lake in New Fairfield, offering five beds, five full and two half bath. This compound totals 6,500 square feet on five private acres, giving way to 400 feet of scenic waterfront views. A heated in-ground pool overlooks the lake with breathtaking views across your sprawling lakefront lawn. Many upscale amenities and renovations make this home exude a warm and comfortable ambiance. Marble counters, a wet bar, a conservatory, even a recreation room. The lower level has 15 foot tall ceilings, offering grand space perfect for entertaining on any level. Everywhere you look, you will see beautiful trim work throughout the home. A true dream estate. This home could have been yours for the right price of $4,295,000. That'll do it on this week of Real Estate with Wes. I will see you next week at episode 34. Till then, have a great week. And remember, the glass is always half full. Thank you.